Nicholas Flamel was born in the early 14th century during the year 3026. In his youth, Nicholas attended Bobatin Academy of Magic in the Pyrenees Mountain of France, and it was there that he met Perinol, his future wife. Nicholas was a kindly old man with a police disposition. Flamel became a noted alchemist of considerable talents. At some point, he created the Philosopher's Stone, an item of massive magical power. With the stone, he created the Elixir of Life, a legendary and unique potion that granted the power of immortality to the drinker, which kept him and his wife life alive for hundreds of years. Although it is clear that he used the elixir to greatly extend his life, it is not specified whether he used the stone's powers to make himself greatly wealthy, as the stone is also capable of turning any metal into gold. Around the year 1720s, Nicholas was implied to have been active in the field of either warfare or martial arts. By the next decade, however, he had become inactive in this field. In the 1819s, Nicholas first came into contact with the brilliant Albus Dumbledore. In the year 1927, Flamel was still living in Paris. When Albus Dumbledore began to take action to stop Gillette Grindelwald, Nicholas Flamel, as his friend, decided to help him in this. And for this reason, he agreed to lend his apartment to Newt's commander and his friend. If the situation required, with Yusuf Kama, who tried to imprison them, fainted, Scamander, together with Tina and Jacob, decided to take advantage of the invitation. Then, on the spot, they removed the water dragon parasites from the Kama's eye, and Newt and Tina went to the French Ministry of Magic. So, when Nicholas returned home, he found there only the unconscious Yusuf and sleeping Jacob. Kowalski mistook Flamel for a ghost, to which he replied that he was an alchemist and therefore immortal. Kowalski claimed that he did not look more than 375 years old. Jacob accidentally broke Nicholas' hand shaking it. After the greeting, they both came to the crystal ball, which showed among other things that Grindelwald was about to make a gathering for his followers at the Lestrange grave. They also saw Curtis Barbon and Nagini hidden there and Queenie. When Jacob saw the woman, he asked the old man where the the place in the ball was located, then quickly ran out of the apartment, first asking Nicholas to look after Kama. However, when Jacob looked at the place where Yusuf should lie, it turned out that it was already empty, making the request as nothing. A moment after Jacob left, the vision in the crystal ball changed it and presented the upcoming tragic events related to the gathering of Grindelwald supporters. After seeing that, Nicholas wanted to warn Dumbledore with the help of his book, but he couldn't contact him. He eventually contacted Ellery Higgs, who advised him to go to the rescue himself. Nicholas however had doubts, because he had not been an active better for 200 years. Then the woman comforted him that everyone still believed in him, which eventually motivated the old man to help. In spite of his advanced age of over 700, Nicholas was happy to do what he could to help put an end to Gillette Grindelwald's unstoppable rise to power, and he nevertheless proved himself to be a very brave and selfish person. Flammer arrived as Grindelwald has escaped and unleashed Protego Diablica in an attempt to destroy Paris. Dark magic so powerful and stable that none of the assembled wizard, opposed to the dark wizard, knew how to counter it. When Newt and others ran out of the fire consuming everything, Nicholas ordered them to form a circle, plant their wands in the ground, and use the general counter spell. The effect was the creation of a cleansing, orange fire which directed no verbally among others by Flamel, eliminated the effects of Grindelwald's spell, and saved the whole of the city from destruction. After saving Paris, Nicholas considered a tear for Jacob Kowalski, whose fiancée Queenie had joined Grindelwald's ranks. Nicholas had moved to Great Britain with his wife and enjoyed a quiet life in Devon. However, the danger of the stone's existence was brought to light when Voldemort, with the help of Hogwarts Professor Quirrell, was nearly successful in stealing it from the purpose of restoring Voldemort to physical form. However, his plan barely failed. The fate and trust he had in Dumbledore is evident and highlighted by his allowing Albus to put the stone in Gringotts with a bank in London to prevalent Lord Voldemort from stealing it and then moving it to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft in Wizardry for further protection later the same year. Nicholas agreed, along with Dumbledore, that the stone should be destroyed with enough elixir to set his affairs in order. It was expected that Flamel and his wife would die shortly thereafter as their death drew near. Harry took the news as terrible, but Dumbledore told him that their death would be like going to bed after a real Really, really long day, implying that when Nicholas and his wife passed on, they accepted the death with dignity. His life became completely relying on the elixir and the stone used to blow it. Once he agreed to destroy the stone and depleted the potion, Nicholas died. Nicholas, by the age of 719, ultimately viewed death as the next great adventure.